Mike here, glad you could join me. Now what you're looking at here is the Unity game engine. And I've been working on video games, modeling, I made this rock background back here. And we are planning to release a game. Now the object of this game is, all you gotta do is just take this rocket, kind of plop it on the pad here, and it goes to the next level. Now if you're good enough at making these games, you can win an award from Unity. Unity Awards 2017, and here is a list of developers who have gone beyond the Call of Duty to make great games. So I think the interesting thing here is what we've all already known is that our own government has won an award. Yes, NASA, Jet Propulsion Labs, teaming up with Microsoft HoloLens Technology, they have managed to fake Mars and make it convincing. And so what does Unity do? Well, Unity awards them. Hey, great job, guys. You're going to fool the people of the world when you claim to land on Mars. Because really, it's going to be a video game. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Now, speaking of virtual reality, let's talk about the ISS fake station. Okay, to pull this off, you need to have a stage prop. And the stage prop here is a hall section of the ISS. Also, you need on a separate video layer objects in virtual space that can move around by software, such as the paper on the wall, the netting there on the back, uh, this contraption here on the right wall, and there's some box or something bungee corded above there. Now, all those objects are on a separate virtual layer, so they can be manipulated by software to look as if they are floating around. And, of course, our three stooges here who are pretending to be astronauts. These guys are also on a separate video layer. And what makes it even worse, they're not even in the same room together. Thank you to the, uh, or thanks to the technology of telemetrics, which can bring people in from all over the place and put them in a virtual reality environment. So what you're about to see, if the camera that contains a virtual reality layer okay, glitches out, okay, or has maybe compression errors, then that layer will also glitch out, and this is exactly what we're going to see now. Uh, we delete you. Thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a good flight and uh, many more exciting experiments on the orbit. Thanks a lot. Now, when they said goodbye, I guess the virtual reality camera was cut off. And so the objects that were on the virtual reality layer, the objects that needed to be floated in space by 3D software, vanish out. I want you to notice the hull, the other camera, the, the stage prop, the hull of the ISS, stays perfectly in photos. If this had been a compression error from the ISS, the whole video would have washed out. But only the virtual reality layer gets washed out here. Also note, you can see the green screen behind the guy right about here. When he's, There it is, the green screen right there behind him starts to show, and then they cut to mission control. So this is Mike destroying the fake station once again. Please like and subscribe.